Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to model a Klein bottle with on shape. A Klein bottle is a non-orientable surface, which means that it has no inside or outside. It's a very interesting mathematical object and it's also a lot of fun to model an on shape. Have a look at this in the section view. Here. Okay. I will start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the front plane. Press N for a normal view to that. P, hide all planes. L and Q to make a cons vertical construction line. Give that a dimension of 174. And um, go to the spline tool. Go here to the right and place two points. Press escape. Then give their uh, horizontal value of 48. Uh, height between those of 112, here a value of 44, that same value here, 44, then I'll just make a construction line here and dimension that angle with a 33 and well again one construction line here and an angle to that handle of that spline point of um, 48. Okay. Um, and dimension that handle with 26. So we get that spline fully defined. And let's draw another spline here, starting about here, then going up here, about here, place three points like this, press escape. Give that handle a vertical constraint, pressing V, dimension 26, horizontal distance here 66, again a vertical constraint of that one, that handle with a dimension of 38 and horizontal constraint between those two here. All right, and let's catch that vertex with a 42 value. and a horizontal distance of 33. Now give that a distance of 38 and we get a fully defined sketch.
let's make our first surface revolve here of that spline around that axis. All right. Make that sketch visible again, sketch no one. And make one plane with that point, plane point and top. All right. Now um, place a sketch on that plane, a circle. Give that circle a dimension of 26 and use a pierce constraint between um, our spline and the center of that circle. We can hide that plane and make a sweep, surface sweep of that profile with that path. All right, so we get um, two surfaces so far here. We can hide our sketch number one. And now let's make a loft. The first loft here, a surface new loft between that profile and that one and a start profile condition make that match tangent make that as a new um, surface body and add profile again match tangent with a magnitude of one See how nicely that goes over to the adjacent surfaces. All right, we get that third surface. And now let's make one surface between one loft between those two here. So back to the loft command, surface new, that one and that one as a new surface body and let's continue with um, that profile condition match tangent here okay and same at the bottom let's have a look at the isocurves here and maybe we want to make um, that smoother, that transition. So we can dimension that and magnitude with a four. And accept that. So we get four independent surfaces. We do need to cut through those two surfaces. Let's have a look at that in the section view with the front plane. So let's get rid of those with the split command. Okay, split face, which face is to split, that one and that one, and the entity is that one. Okay, we don't see much of a change maybe, but I'll hide the um, sweep surface here. You see that black line here? And with the delete face command, we pick those two, accept that, and we get the hole we wanted, right? Okay, I'll 
show that one again. Now, um, let's uh, thicken all of those with a mid-plane option. And for glass, maybe 2.4 millimeters. So I start at the bottom and pick our four surfaces. Okay. And um, now we will, with a Boolean op operation, make a union out of those four bodies. Okay. So I'll call that our Klein bottle. Um, have a look at that and with a section view turned off and maybe have a look at that as in transparent mode here. Or go to translucent, and there we can see better what our body looks like. Mm. I'll switch back to the section view because I want to apply a, a fillet. So I take the fillet command and pick that edge. Radius is four millimeters and the outer edge as well. Take that from here. Okay. And now since uh, this is a bottle, I'll fill it with uh, some liquid and use a um, plane, offset plane from the top and pull that up maybe to 62. And now um, use the and close command, keeping all tools, and pick that face, that face, that face, and our plane. We can hide that plane. And I'll rename that grape juice and give that some purple appearance and that's it that's the Klein bottle filled with grape juice I include a link to this on-shape document that contains this Klein bottle model so that you can experiment with it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy modeling.